Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for, is it Tuesday? Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. 34 degrees at 4.48 p.m. and I am your host, Kamal, and I'm a sinner. And I'm powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It is always today, it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray we can live from our hearts a life based on faith and not fear. That's the challenge. That's the biggie, isn't it? It's like when somebody says, how's it going? And I respond, it's not how it goes. It's how we respond to how it goes that matters. And I did pretty good today so far. Didn't have a real productive day. Didn't sleep real well as usual. Oh, and I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan, Bobby, B-A-B-Y, Bobby Sullivan, Sullivan J. Ballbreaker, Esquire. Mackie's in the living room on Audie's bed, and I think Mikey and Elsie are upstairs on the bed. It's been gray and kind of cool all day today. Um... We got up, I think, about quarter to seven. Yeah, and had quite a few birds out feeding this morning. Had our prayers and wake up time. Did some yoga. A few weightlifting, uh, different. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. I did like six different lifts. You know, I only do like ten, a set of ten each, except the one that was twenty. But I'm not lifting a lot. It's just for tone and for maintenance, you know. I'm trying to get rid of this big tank that I've been trying to get rid of for three years now. I haven't had flat abs for three years, and it's tough on the old ego, especially after all the biking I did this summer and fall, and spring, summer, and fall, I should say. And now we're into the season of fell. That comes after fall when all the leaves are down. But anyway... Uh, didn't get nothing done in the basement today to speak of. Didn't get any really any domestic chores done around here. I went out and picked up some groceries. And when I came home from that, I conjured up some macaroni and cheese, which had macaroni and cheese in it. I dumped in a can of pinto beans, a can of mixed veggies. I had sauteed some onions and a jalapeno and some butter with some garlic and threw that in there and then added some other seasonings and I conjured up a pretty good pretty good lunch with that and then what did we do Sully what did we do after that huh Bubby <laughs> oh I talked to my cousin Paul he had called while I was out and Email, I got an email from my optometrist, Dr. Skiba, Jerry Skiba at Skiba Vision. Uh, I had inquired about, uh, you know, the difficulty I'm having lining up sites with these trifocals, how difficult it is for me to uh, pick out, you know, which, which lens I should be look, which part of the lens I should be looking through. And it's it's difficult, but I finally did determine. I uh, I got up kind of where I'm down on my nose and looked through the distance part, and I seem to be doing better. But I've got to get in and see him and uh, get a different prescription or maybe get progressives. He said would be a, an option too, instead of having these trifocals have lens that went progressively from distance yeah. to close close up. And another option, I think, is just getting a, a, dis, a prescription of a lens that's just got the distance. And what else did he tell me to do? You know, I'm, I'm left eye dominant and I shoot with my right hand when I'm shooting a handgun. I eat with my right hand. I write with my right hand. I throw with my right hand. But when I shoot a rifle or like if I play pool, I hold the stick or the rifle in my left hand up to my left shoulder. Uh, but I'm left eye dominant, cross eye dominant. So with shooting, I got to turn my head to one side like that or else I'm seeing double when I look down the barrel of a handgun. 
and uh, or else close one eye and you're supposed to learn to shoot with both eyes open so I'm trying to do that and I did practice uh, a new grip I learned on my revolver that I, from a Jerry Mitchellick video and I did shoot a lot better holding my my revolver that way I still sucked with the semi-automatic nine millimeter um, I'm all over the place with that thing and I had an issue with one of the magazines jamming up. I mean, the the the, the rounds just literally got stuck halfway down. The, the thing was jammed down, stuck halfway down. And uh, I had an issue with that a magazine earlier. It was in September. They sent me a new one, and I got on the phone to Ruger, and they're going to be sending me another one. They got real good customer service there. And it, it turns out both the, the magazines that came with that weapon or lemons and she had discussed things with one of the texts there as far as some other issues I was having there goes the princess and he said that one of the issues is my slide doesn't stay open on the last round and that's on that same magazine and because we replaced the the spring that holds that open I had them send me one and I took it apart put that in and Still have the problem when I use that magazine. So the tech said that he has a security nine also, and it's probably from the magazines being defective. So they're going to send me another one. Been sitting here cleaning these weapons uh, and hanging out with Sully, Max, and Mikey. Where'd else go? Where did she go? Is she getting a bite to eat? Where did the princess go? All right, anyway, so I'm just a yammering away as usual on tap this evening. We're going to be reading from Stalky and Company, uh, and then watching a movie, I'm sure. Last night we watched a movie called, was it called Hungarian Noir or Budapest Noir? Pretty good movie, and uh, yeah. We've been watching movies on the Canopy channel. It's a freebie through the library. We got some pretty good movies in there. And, uh, yeah, I just recently started watching that again. On my old computer, I would watch a movie on that channel, and then all of a sudden it would just start buffering. There was something wrong with settings in the computer. I could never figure out why it was doing it. But the, when we got a new computer, I think in July, after the other one shit out, it uh, I haven't had that issue. But they got a pretty good selection of movies on there. Um, I'm sick of the stuff that Amazon has. And Anyway, we're going to take a little break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good good afternoon either. Uh, you got a dove out on the wire. Sully's so looking out the window. Mackie's still on Audie's bed in the living room, and Mike and Elsa are still upstairs. Got to tell you, you know, we're still thinking about Sammy a lot, and we're missing him around here like you wouldn't believe. And I last night when I was getting the cats their treats, we do tweets, treats is for sweetses, and then we do feline greenies after that for them. Um, Sammy used to come up to me and... I could say, you know, it's time for a treat, and he'd come into the kitchen, and when I'd be standing by the counter, he'd rub his head, top of his head on my right ankle. And I can still feel him doing that when I'm in there, but it was just a good memory. He really loved me. He really did. He loved us all. He was the glue that held us together. Uncle Stewie was like that, too, when Stu was the old guy around here. And anyway, just reminiscing and missing Sam, you know. He was a good boy. He was a real good boy. He was our papa. Yeah, so anyway. Um, I think that's about all we've got for now. We're going to hang out here at camp, read to the loves like I mentioned earlier, and watch a movie of some sort. I've been into watching foreign films this week, too. I, I go through those periods. I get tired of watching USA-produced content, whether it be movie or TV shows that I watch on the internet or DVDs or whatever, and especially modern movies, 
you know, the, 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 the medium of film, you're supposed to let the, the pictures do the talking. And if you watch older USA films, they did that. Now everything's all spelled out for you in dialogue. And it's like, it's so different to me watching a, a modern movie than an older one, unless it's a European film or a foreign film. Um, and over the years, one of my favorite directors is Akira Kurosawa, the Japanese director. And another good one I like is Andrzej Wajda, who was Polish. And... Uh, but yeah, we've been getting getting into watching foreign films and even British cinema, even though it's English. It's not the same kind of English we speak here. The words totally have different meanings. But I think I've got uh, an English film from 1947 queued up to watch tonight. So that's about all we have from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, Broken, bitter, and sad soul. There's that princess. Where are you going, else? Piss off. Happy Terrific Tuesday, and thanks for not tuning in.